this man's a dove in trading talks, okay? I continue to, my sources continue to indicate that Huawei may be the defining, uh, Hitchcock will call it the MacGuffin, perhaps, the defining issue of what we kind of know out there, which is really that the president's trying to figure out whether Huawei is a legitimate company. Well, you look at it, it's all, it's all Zany and Brioni. It's a Brioni. There, you got a Thanks for that. Pull the Band-Aid off that, Chief. Um, we're really talking about whether Huawei is a communist infiltrated organization ally with Pete, like Peter Thiel with his bomb throw on Google, Alvin, or whether it's yeah. a phone company. And the hardliners it, it believe that it's a, an arm of the PLA, and the softliners believe it's a company. And Mnuchin believes it's a company, and the hardliners don't. So, I mean, I think the idea that it's not a sticking point is crazy. It's the biggest sticking point in the whole negotiations because the whole point is, are there companies PLA controlled by the People's Liberation Army controlled, or are they controlled by bus business? I mean, look, if you were on the Alcoa call last night, there's state-owned companies, and they seem to just pump out aluminum no matter what. And then there's companies that are free market, and the free market are not communist. I really think that this is the defining issue. So Mnuchin is uh, it, it, very nice. But the, the fact is, is there are other people in the White House who are saying, does he continue to think this is about trade? Does he really think it's about soybeans versus phone equipment? It's about the, it's about hegemony, 2025. Okay. Then reverse it and look at it from the Chinese perspective. They clearly also believe that this is extraordinarily important for them. It's the end. not allow this company a, p a potential growth to be impinged. Right, I mean, by look, an inability to get components that they need. If you go on the Marvell conference call, which is the best 5G company that I know, I mean, this is about Samsung being given a chance to to topple Huawei. It's a, it's about Ericsson giving a chance, about no giving a chance. You know, and, and it's about it, it, the hardliners are saying, listen, you know, if Huawei went out of business, we can leapfrog f a 5G. Mnuchin isn't focused on 5G, he's focused on, on soybean. It's not oh, true. I don't know if that's fair to okay, him. Well, I, mean, right, I think I'm he using... has been focused on 5G. This administration has from a national okay, security look, perspective. I'm, I'm, right. The fact is, it is Treasury and CFIUS that stopped Broadcom's ability to buy Qualcomm. Because everyone, Why? Uh, In part because of the national security concerns cited around 5G. Well, I think a lot of people felt in the government that Hock Tan, the CEO of Broadcom, and I know this for a fact, they think that he, he's controlled by the PLA, which is not true. Oh, I'm sorry. I did reporting. You know how you like no, report listen, on eBay? No, I've heard. I know. Oh, I, I know that anymore. there is that, and it is not true. I know it's not. I just said it and wasn't it's true. Completely unfair, but yes. totally unfair. But what? There's, there's something there. unfair. There's Someone something said there. They've always been but, worried. But about. I just I said, I'm just look. I'm not, and I want to simplify. Look, Secretary Mnuchin is a very smart man, and, and, but, but I'm just saying he wants more trade, and there are other people who don't want any trade, and that's really what you're dealing with. There are people in that White House who say, "Do we? How much did we trade with with the Soviet Union in 1947?"